you a really uh, odd feeling. Uh, all close-ups over here, tight twos over there. Yeah, that place. I mean, the yard's okay. It doesn't right. bother me, but the that death that, row was the time I walked through there. Man, God that's almighty, an that eerie area. feeling. You it's so small. Only imagine. Mm, I can't imagine. <laughs> I mean, I just I just wish I was. I just couldn't. I just couldn't imagine offing yourself or something before you got yourself to that. You have to walk that. <sighs> so bad. Well, congratulations on the best movie I've seen all year. Oh, that's a big thing. Thank you very much. And I much. couldn't imagine anybody ever being in your part. I mean, I couldn't even imagine any other actor ever playing that role. Thank you very much, man. That makes me feel so good. I mean, Thank how do you, you feel about all this stuff you're hearing? I know you're hearing great things about it. I'm enjoying it. i tell you the truth, I am enjoying all of this, man. I mean, everything that's happened from Armageddon to the Green Mile, all this stuff, is just amazing to me. And I'm not going to be one of these people that, oh, man, I'm tired of this, that, and other. Mm -hmm. Man, I love every second of it. I'm going to tell you the truth. Because you're kind of recognizable. I mean, you're like 10 feet tall and 4 feet wide. Right. And, you know, and you're not some little guy and hide too easily. No. So you but, better like it because oh, you don't really I, you have a lot what? of choice. It's a dream. It's a dream come true. And I hope nobody pinches me and say you've been asleep for the last week. You know, wake up. You're not an actor. Now, where are you born? Where were you from? Chicago. Chicago All right. And Illinois. then you went to Alcorn State. Alcorn State University. So you consider yourself a Midwesterner, a Southerner, or what? I'm Midwestern. Always, mm -hmm. side town all the way. But you didn't really see yourself as a movie star ever, did you? No. I mean, that was I, never in the was, cards. It was my mother's thought. Mm -hmm. I always wanted to be like a police officer or something like that. And that's what I was looking forward to. Something, you know, I mm -hmm. thought was paying real money at the time. And that was just something that I had funneled toward. I had always done security. So when I wound up out here in Hollywood, I said, well, I might as well try this. I'm out here. I don't want to go back home. And I tried it. and. Um, it was rough like everybody else oh. had a tough time. But now that you've made it and you've gotten all this celebrity and you may even right. get an Oscar nomination. Have you ever are you thinking that far ahead? If that happens, you are you gonna freak nah, out that I day? I wouldn't even lie to you and say, No, I don't never think about it. Of course I think but about you're, that. You're, I would think that I don't see how they couldn't nominate you for you, this thing. It would be it, it's probably a little nerve wracking time. You think in the categories and the best actors and top supporting actors, and then you think that you might get in there. That's like a miracle, man, and that's like the happiest time to, for you to even say that to me. See, you'll be against that kid in Sixth Sense, and so you can just scare him to death. You look at him one time, he'll hey, be kids gone. Are really he'll give good, up his though. nomination. <laughs> he'll give up his nomination. <laughs> kids are good, though. I like him. Was it fun working with, I know you've enjoyed working with Bruce Willis because you're doing it again, right. but how about Tom Hanks? Did you ever get a chance to get to know him? Because mm -hmm. he is your guard. He's your master. Wonderful. Tom Hanks is simply wonderful. In fact, I used to tease him. I say, boss. Oh, no, I used to tell him, I say, man, I was all in Bruce Willis's trailer. He let me sit down in his trailer. Next day, he said, come on, come on to my trailer. Sit down on my couch, watch TV, I'm going to go. And he was just so phenomenal because I, I always Tom's joke. He has that silver airstream. Yeah, yeah you know? there you go. He, it goes everywhere. Uptown. Everybody else is sleeping in the closet. No, he's, he's got, got this little thing going he on. Little, he had a little tent, little awning out there. Right. With a little but, barbecue pit. But he's cool. He's, he's cool. really cool. Tom's cool. So you're going to be that way? You're going to have your own little tent and invite people to come by? And you know what? I just want to be... I just want to be one of these actors that doesn't think that you're all that. I don't ever want to think that I'm too much to take time out to sign autographs, to speak nicely to people, and to think that, okay, now I'm a big superstar. I guess I'll come in a half hour late. All right, tell me this, Michael. What? What's the stupid, what, when you first got some money, you know, off of this movie star stuff, what did you buy stupid that you always wanted? You know what? I've never done anything stupid like that because my mother raised me that you never know when so that next check is coming in, huh? oh, my money goes to the bank, man. I don't. <laughs> I have a truck that I'm proud of, but All that's right. about it, man. All right. Got a truck. You got a truck. <laughs> that's it. All right. How creepy was it being in prison? Did you ever feel like you really were there? Oh, as John Coffey, yes. Me personally, no. But as John Coffey, scared every day. It was the weirdest feeling I've ever experienced in my entire life. Because you've never been in that place no, before. No. No. But as an actor, once you become that character. That's you. And all his fears were not my fears. The dark, these people that I did not know, I did not know what's going to happen to me, all those became reality as I became John Coffey. So it was very weird. As a big guy, though, you know, you wonder, do you ever really get, you ever been scared? As a big guy, yeah. I hate spiders. Okay. That's I don't about like the only thing. I'm saying, that's, I can be around a snake. <laughs> but you don't like spiders. I, I don't like spiders. That's about it. Anything else I'm cool with. You can pretty much handle yourself. Yeah. <laughs> When you uh, watch yourself right. on the big screen, it's so much bigger than life anyway. Is that you up there or is that somebody else? It's somebody else. It's, it's never me. And I, and I thought when I first saw The Green Mile a week ago, I looked at it and I said, man, that cannot be me. I don't know how I did that. I really did not know how I got through that. But I had so much great help from Frank Darabont and Tom Hanks that they 
kind of pulled me to the side and told me what they wanted. It was just like a great feeling because you got a two-time Academy Award winner. Then you have a director who's phenomenal, who knows exactly what to do for this picture to be great. And he just brought all that out of me. Well, it is great. Thank and you. you're going to be it. real proud of this because I'm not sure how many of these come along. In there you go. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate it. Thanks, Jimmy. All right.